This is one of Papua New Guinea's better corners, Medang, peaceful and beautiful, just right for a peace of mind to learn. And learning it has been here at the Divinewood University. In its 10-year history, this higher learning institution has earned itself a reputation as one of the best of all the universities. It's rated high on discipline, output and appropriateness in its training. The university now has almost 2,000 students, most of them at the main Medang campus and others in affiliated campuses in several different provinces. The expansion program is ongoing. The university has come a long way. The humble beginnings of Catholic SVD missionaries in 1958, what started as a high school then, is now much more. The Divine Word Institute came a long way and has reached new heights since its establishment. It's quite remarkable when its history points to a somewhat modest beginning, a Catholic high school in 1968. Where the institution stands today was an old plantation. Considering that time and what the institution resembles today, it has emerged to a credible tertiary institution. From the 18 students we started with, we are up to now about 350. The Divine Word Institute is unique in a sense that it offers combined matriculation, grades 11 and 12, and university programs. Consistent with its philosophy, the Institute offers educational services only to those interested in improving themselves intellectually and spiritually. That's Divine Word's past. Its new chapter began this week, 10 years ago, when it became a university. Through an act of parliament facilitated by the then government of Sir Julius Chen, Divine Word was elevated to university status in August 21st, 1996. Men of vision like Archbishop Noza, Father McVinney, saw the need to cater the needs and aspirations of all those bright, young, educated Papua New Guineans our land was beginning to produce in numbers. Even though the complete vision was of a full university, even though this could not be translated into reality at that time, the vision itself has never been forgotten. Then came the announcement everyone had been waiting. It is fitting then that on the occasion of your society's 100th anniversary in Papua New Guinea, I as Prime Minister am able to announce today that steps are already well and truly underway to complete the vision your society developed way back in 1962, 34 years ago. You have already the, the enabling legislation to offer academic qualifications in the same way as the University of Papua New Guinea and the University of Technology. Together with the Pacific Adventist College, you are already recognized partners in the development of this nation's human resources. Nothing now stands in the way for the Divine Word Institute to become a private Catholic university. Against established and recognized universities such as UPNG and Unitech, the road ahead for DWU had been full of tests and challenges. But it had lived up to its motto of run to win and won the support and assistance of many who had been associated with the university. The signing was between DWU President Father Jan Chuba and Bishop Tony Burgess of the Wewak Diocese. Bishop Tony signed on behalf of the four dioceses of Wewak, Vanimo, Aitape and Darukyunga and also Kindly Teachers College. The signing was witnessed by Minister for Higher Education, Science and Technology Roy Biyama and Director General for Higher Education Dr. Philip Kerame. 
Prime Minister Sir Michael then endorsed the signed documents. Father Jan said that disagreement had already proven itself through producing quality higher education courses that are directly focused on the needs of the country. It is good to see our Prime Minister taking part of this historic moment in the development of teacher's education and higher education in this epic province and our country and even better to see him here at the new Divine World University campus 